What's up guys, it's Pax Plumbing and I'm going to give you five tips on how to run a successful plumbing business. Let's go! Tip number one, it's pretty obvious, do a f***ing good job. Always try to do the best job possible. You're only as good as your last job. So if you come to do something, try to do it right, please. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Apart from it's just disgusting and lazy. Reputation is everything in this game. So keep your standards high. Come on, man, it takes like 10 minutes to do, you know? Right, so I've got to fill this in. It's just not secure at all. So I've got some sand and cement. Get into that. It's better. Make sure you get a good relationship with your supplier. I use an independent in uh, in Dewsbury, and it's always a service with a smile. Hey Tim, can I get that piece of beef for the backseat, please? Ah, uh, f*** off you. All about gas in Dewsbury, they're a Veesman partner, so any parts that you want for a Veesman, he's generally got them in stock. Most of my bottles are Veesman, so it's always good to come down. A tip for PCBs, if you're not familiar with them, Take a picture on your phone of the uh, where the cable's going. And then if you get stuck, you can refer back to that old picture. Can you see there where it's burnt? Wrist strap, gang. Oh, rookie mistake. So because I didn't read the instructions. It's a little cord plug here. I need to change. So I'm just gonna take it all back apart again and do that. I always read the instructions. So we have power. So just to reiterate that, where is it? Read the instructions. Now, I generally do, but the customer was talking to me and I forgot. But yeah, it tells you on there that there's a little cord plug that you need to change and I didn't, so. Anyway, we're back on now, I've got it running. Excuse the mess in here. So the very first thing I'd do, if I were just starting out again, I'd get myself some decent tools. Because the tools I had that I brought from a company were absolutely terrible. Anything Nipex, anything Weira. Blow a lamp, never gets used. Spend as much money as you can on power tools. The best kind, in my opinion, Milwaukee. And a press gun. It's a no-brainer. Invest in the best tools. Invest in the best tools to make your job easier and faster and also look more professional. Liquid PTFE from Screwfix. Bargain. Tip number four. Websites and social media. So if you haven't got a website, what are you doing, man? You need a website. Best places to go look for a website is do it yourself. I go on wix.com. They have some really good templates on there. They're easy to follow. Similar website, Squarespace. So what you do there is you just go pick a template, drag some pictures of your work in, make it look all snazzy. And even if you want to pay for one, go to Expert Trades. Their website's brilliant. 
I've seen a lot of people um, use them and they do great work, you know. Go check them out, experttraders.com. And then social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok if you're 14 year old. Like brilliant, you know, build your following. Finally, tip number five, enjoy what you do. If you don't enjoy what you do, don't do it. The customer will find out. They'll see it in your face, they'll see it in your eyes that you don't want to be there. Just do a good job. I hated plumbing. I hated it ever since I left school until I was about 27 working for companies. I hated it. It was just something to make money. I didn't enjoy it at all. But as soon as I started working for myself, nearly eight years ago, seven, seven years ago, I just loved it. You know, every, every day I learn something new. I meet new people. I just enjoy myself. So if you don't enjoy it, don't do it. Right, that'll do it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's your five tips to run a successful plumbing business. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Parks Plumbing. Um, smash like, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in the next one. to be for the backseat, please. Ah, oh, f*** off, you <laughs> <laughs> That's great, man. <laughs>